Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for another episode of Silver on Forest. So, we have just completed our cotton harvest. So we've got our first bale that we're going to deliver to our newly placed spinnery. So let's get this unloaded. So this should go straight into the production point and disappear, potentially. No. There we go, so it's in. 20,000 litres of cotton. Let's go and turn this on. So we actually it's the production point. Okay, so we want to set to storing, which we are. And basically looks like we get two cotton. No, five cotton, three fabric. So not a bad, not a bad exchange rate essentially. So let's activate that one uh, so that's now going to be producing for us so active productions cotton just double check so that's active that's storing so we will get cotton come out of here later on well, let's go grab our second bale so we got basically one and a half bales out of that field so that's perfectly fine. So we'll go and pick this bale up. Then we'll get our next pat, uh, next batch of cotton planted, just so we can keep our cotton production ticking over. And I've started cutting down some 15 meter lengths of of timber. So I experimented with a couple of different um, couple of different mod harvesters. None of them really felt. Well, a couple of them had modified cut lengths, so I could do increments of... So let's fold this harvester. They had increments of 0.5 of a metre, which is good. Um, but the mechanics of the harvesters just didn't feel right to me. And I can get away with 15 quite comfortably, so that's what we're going to do. I tried doing a 20 metre bale, and it just stuck out of the um, ends too far so it looks like 15 will be pretty ideal I mean 18 possibly be okay but I have to manually cut it in the middle because I don't have a don't have a tree harvester that will cut cut at that length automatically so now we should be able to direct drill this because we've got the direct drill uh, planter. So I'll just get this into a rough position. And we will send the, the worker underway. So just make sure that's actually doing what it's supposed to. Yep. So we're getting 50% yield bonus because we are plowing in the remnants of that crop. So this is going to interact, this is going to block out worker, so we'll get this bale out of the way. Operating position. So you just back up to the bale, pick up the, pick it up, set it to transport, and then away you go. So we should be able to cut across here. That fence doesn't give us a collision marker. So that'll plant for us, which is great. We'll deliver this over to the spinnery. I've already taken the first one over, uh, and I've already cut down some trees so that's going to be our next job is just to top up our tree production and start getting some 15 meter length uh, stock for uh, lumber so let's get this one in here so you basically just back on up to the trigger point uh, unload bales triangle so give yourself a little bit of room And that should disappear into the production point. So we've got 32,000 litres. So we've got a decent amount of cotton out of that field, which is which is good. And it's probably got capacity for, I would say, 40,000 litres. So we'll let that run until we get our next... So our planter, let's just go and check out how the planter's going. 
So he is... So it looks like starting from this corner is going to be ideal. Obviously he's missed a bit there. But we will fix that up as we go. Um, we've started cutting down this plantation from the back. And we're filling up this section here with the 15 meter bale. So you can see they're sticking out of the, the row a little bit. And we've got these off cuts which are going to be... I mean I can pick them up and chuck them into the sawmill. So that's going to be the plan there. Or I'll just leave them on the ground and stockpile them and move them over in one go. I just don't want to be just don't want to be dealing with them constantly. So we'll see if this actually works out to be any any better than doing the 12 meters because the uh, the offcuts may become problematic. So we're just gonna have to see. Because <clears throat> the 36 meters is perfect for um, minimal waste. So we'll just have to see how that plays out. Okay, let's grab from this row. So I'm just trying to thin out each row little bit by little bit. Okay, let's drop that down. Give that a cut. So what, what I'm basically the method here is just to cut it, drag it out of the line, back it straight into the bunker area, and then when I push it into position, it's nice and nice and ready to go for storage. So you can see we end up with that little bit of an off cut, which I'm thinking I'm probably going to. So the 12 meter logs do fit on the uh, TLX logger, but they just, it's more suited for just that, for 15 meter length, so. And I really want to do this road train, so that's basically why I'm experimenting here. Okay, let's get this tree cut. Well, that stump is a little bit too high. So it's just going to impact my cut length slightly. Not a huge deal, but if we can get it close to the ground, that would be better. Right, I think we're going to have enough logs here for a load in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to fill this bunker up too much. I basically want to get... Okay, let's uh, stop that. Right over and grab our... Where's our other... This is the one we want. So see if I can get these into position first. And then I'll use the uh, forestry blade to square them up. Okay, it's not looking too bad. So these offcuts here, they might be they might be problematic with loading. So that's something I'm going to have to just deal with. Okay, so this should be enough for one trailer at least. Okay, let's jump back in this one. So I'm going to try I'm going to try and work these guys in tandem. So I'll get this lined up get my tines up so I can get a good run in. So that's looking that's looking about the middle for me. Zoom in a touch. And then let's go. Okay, let's see if we can get get a decent grab here. Not quite. See if we can release. Go again. There we go. Looks like we're getting a bit uh, sort of slightly better. Not quite. I just want that other log to fall back a little bit. 
we can. Okay, it's gone a bit skew on me, but we'll see how we go. And the other thing too, if it doesn't, if it doesn't um, equal an efficient loading operation, it's pretty much pointless. So the 12 meter bales were perfect for, you know, pick them up, grab them, place them in the in the trailer, and then you're basically away. So you can load really quickly. Okay. Okay, let's just double check. Get over the top here. Tilt that down. So we might have to just sort of finesse this a little bit if we can. Got one there that's a bit going a bit rogue. Yeah, that's going really rogue now. Alright, let's see if we can fix this up. So I just want to get underneath it. Not quite. Alright, let's see if we can just give this a nudge. So we'll try and get it to... Yeah, it's probably going to fall out. Alright, I'm going to probably abandon this one if I can't get it. So I'll just move this out of the way and I'll push that into the sawmill. Then we'll go up and get a fresh pile. So rather than persevering with one log with this with this particular grapple, it's just a, it's just a waste of time. Get a good push in. Good grab. Yeah, this is a much better grab this time. So the technique is still sound. It's just uh, probably going to have more weight to deal with as well. I mean, these Volvo front loaders can still lift it, which is fine. What's going on with that one there? Yeah, it's just a bit, a bit wonky. Okay, I just want to make sure that grip, that log is, yep, so that, that grab is fully shut. I don't even know if I'm going to get this, this batch of logs in, to be honest. Right, let's go and get another uh, trailer while we're here. So we might as well get this road train cranking. We've been talking about it for long enough, so let's do it. All right, we want to get a forestry trailer, so tools, forestry equipment. Scroll all the way down to the end, and we want the TLX logger, which is this one here. So I'm just going to leave it standard configuration. I am going to put the I'm going to put the rear hitch on. So poles distribution, so it's 18 feet, yeah standard, so standard rear hitch, same colour, so theoretically we can connect as many of these as we want but we're not going to, so let's lease that, All right let's get a dolly next, so I use the bogeyman which is this one here, uh, I'm going to change the no fenders. I'm just going to change the color. So we're just going to go for a black. And design color, change that to a black as well. And then just leave the rest as is. So we're going to lease that as well. Okay, let's jump into this one. If 
what I'll do is I'm gonna just uh, actually no, I'm gonna come back for that. So let's detach. Go and pick up the new trailer and dolly, and then we'll hook them together and we'll take it for a test run. So how's our planter going? Not too bad. Okay, let's see if we can not get head-on collision. <laughs> right. So the roller coaster is still ticking along. Of uh, I haven't gone back and grabbed any more bit barrels or buckets just yet. I'm just leaving that to consume what is already there. Because currently we don't need to really worry about it. So hopefully I can actually connect to this dolly so I don't have to come back for it. I just don't know if I've got the, a hitch on here. It doesn't look like I do. No, I don't. So we're going to grab this trolley. Uh, we're going to grab this trailer. And then I'll come back with the tractor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Auto save always pops up at the best time. Uh, set destination. Cool. And then we just want to grab our New Holland. So this should have an appropriate hitch to so get this trailer off the, off the main road. So just park him there for the moment. So if I can't get the road train to work properly, I've still got the, the two trailer option. So basically when one trailer is at the sawmill, the other one can be getting filled back at the farm. So it might still be worthwhile, but we'll just see what happens. It may just be the scenario I end up um, operating two trucks, two trucks, two trailers, and just have them working in shifts, sort of back and forth. All right, let's head on down. Okay, looks like he's just nudged that other trailer out the way. I suppose whatever works. Okay, so the way you hook the road train up is basically you get one dolly under one trailer, which is what we're about to do here. So we'll do the one that's loaded. So just hook. This can be a little bit tricky, so get that connected. Come on, dude. Wait till we get the... Okay, so that one's that one's now connected. So all we have to do now is select the dolly. Disconnect. So the dolly's connected to the trailer, but we've just disconnected from the dolly. Uh, and now we'll jump in the truck. Just double check that it's got the rear hitch that we need. So that is it. I'll just crash down so you can see. That is it right there. The little pin. And that's what's going to allow us to get these going in tandem. Okay, so we've got a decent area there to work in. The other issue too is it's a little bit difficult to reverse. So can I turn on rear wheel steering? Okay, silence engine brakes. Uh, toggle rear steering. Rear steering. So that should. Did I just lock that? Anyway, see what happens here. So hopefully we can get the connection. Not quite. 
let's try again. And the other issue too we're going to have is unloading these at the other end. So we may have to move our high lift. Okay, there we go. So now we're connected. So let's just... So tension straps are on the back trailer. Let's just uh, take it for a bit of a test drive. Just come in here, ready for loading. Okay, so let's get this second load on. Yeah, because the other the other thing here is the weight can the weight consideration. So same deal, line it up in the middle. Uh, we want to we want to have our logs positioned closer to the. So I'm going to move the trailer forward just a touch. So we should still be okay when we, when we dump these in. So let's see what happens here. Just going to give them a bit of a massage to get in there. Okay, you can see that one there is not quite in, in the bunk. So that's potentially because they weren't square to begin with. Let's see if we can't just give him a bit of a. Actually, what I'll do. Yeah, they're starting to get a little bit out of shape now. The more you handle them, the more unruly they become. So you can see that in real time right now. The only thing I might try is go this way. And then roll them over. Yeah, and even now I've totally missed the bunk, so I'm gonna have to reset. Yeah, something tells me this is not gonna be as efficient as I thought it might. But what I, what I really need to do is I need to turn the truck around and come from the other way. Because of how I've picked these logs up, let's just do a quick U-turn. Hopefully we don't jackknife or do something silly. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So you can see with the logs on the right-hand side sticking out the end a little bit, which is far more preferential than where I did have them. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay. Okay. Get them in there. I'm just going to give them a bit of a push. Okay, it's not too bad actually. Let's let them go, and I'm just going to slide out. And that should drop them in. So get the tension straps on that one, tension straps on that one, and then away we go. So, not really sure if that was any quicker. I mean, I do probably have twice as many logs, really, because I've got an extra three meters per log. So let's just see how this handles actually. I mean it does look pretty cool. Like let's get a let's get a visual on that.
and let's test the handling so this will be the this will be the thing that really makes it or breaks it whether or not it actually drives the straight into a pole had to be so I was worried about hitting that car so I just want to double check the steering so uh, toggle rear steering so rear steering locked rear steering so let's do that for each one so what it should do is it should follow the exact path we take so if I turn a little bit here the trailers should follow my path identically which look, kind of looks like they are alright let's look where we're going because this is going to be important now I reckon we could probably get we could definitely probably get a few more logs on here to be honest the other thing we could probably do is get so if this is a 20 metre trailer, we could do 10 metre bales. So rather than doing the um, 15 metre lengths that we are, we do have, if we can do 7.5, let's just check the harvester. So it'll do, it'll do 8. So what if we did 7? So that would be... How many? Uh, we can only go eight. So two eight meter bales. That'll give us sixteen, which would yeah, with a little bit of space in between. Let's go back to our go back to our truck. Yeah, so if we've got a twenty meter trailer with logs in, so eight meter logs in this section, eight meter logs in this section with a little bit of gap in the middle. And then same on the back. That might be a little bit more manageable than the the 15 meters that we've got on there. And it might be a little bit easier to load as well. So all right, let's see how this goes. Okay, sharp turn. Hasn't rolled. So it's definitely more stable. I mean, you can't even you can't even get all the way to the other end when you're driving this. We're inside. Oh, we do get the yeah, we get the view, the different view option. Don't hit the. Uh... You can definitely feel the weight in it too. I do like the stability. Definitely a plus. Let's see if we can make this turn up here, back to the main farm. Yeah, there's no way I could take that turn that tightly and that quickly with the other with the other trailer. All right, well that's uh, I'd say that was a reasonable success. Um, I think I might play around with the different the 8 metre bail configuration rather than the 15 so I can get 8 metres in here 8 metres in here to give me a 16 metre length which should give me a little bit of overhang on both ends but probably no more than what I've really got there so where's that harvester actually so I've got the choice of 6 or 7 I mean 6 or 8 Nines would be too big, and then twelves just fit. Fifteens fit comfortably. Twenties don't fit. Let's just turn this off quickly. I mean, it does look pretty cool. Like, looks like a proper logging truck now. Anyway. Alright, we'll leave it there for that for this video guys thanks for watching uh, like subscribe comment all that good stuff um, any questions about what I'm doing or any comments leave them below 
Happy to hear your thoughts on how you play the game. Uh, any tips you can give me. I'm always open to learning more about the game from the community. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.